Okay, hello to everyone, and, uh, wherever you have to be. I'm David Thompson. I'll be one of your voice commentators uh, this morning. Michael is still trying to sort out audio issue with his um, uh, microphone, but we'll uh, we'll press on as best we can. So a handy lead for the uh, Diamond team after the first segment of um, uh, 15 boards, but obviously there's still a very long way to go in this match. It looks like North South can make uh, either three no trump or um, four spades on this hand. So with North being a past hand already, uh, bidding three diamonds here isn't showing the world, but it's uh, um, at least showing um, uh, upper range for his uh, um, being a past hand. Some partnerships would actually use this sort of option where you've made a takeout double and then the opponents find a major suit fit at the two level as a eleven soul situation where North could use um, two no trump as a um, as a puppet to three clubs, but uh, you would need to make sure you have that agreement with your partner before you pull that out at the table. Four spades it is, and it looks like this is going to lose a heart and uh, two clubs to make ten trick relatively easily. Declare will just draw trumps at the earliest opportunity. Um, might try and set up diamonds, but uh, there's uh, there's no entry to them, so um, uh, he's just going to lose his two clubs and a heart, I believe. And I'm told that in the closed room, uh, uh, Declara is in uh, two spades. So uh, this is going to be a, uh, a non-vol game swing, probably five or six imps to um, the diamond team. Diamond may have given some thought to unblocking the King of Hearts under the Ace of Hearts uh, with a view to creating an entry to dummy in case he can establish uh, the Diamond suit. But with a seven card club fit, there is a danger of a um, club rough looming. So he's actually quite happy for a heart continuation, I think, on this hand, given that hearts have been bid and raised. So he can just draw trumps and um, uh, and then, uh, I'm not sure what to do next, probably duck a club first, um, just in case there's some sort of um, uh, club uh, diamond squeeze position that could, could oh, sorry, duck a diamond I should say, just in, just in case he can uh, get diamond set up. 
but now um, he's just going to win this in uh, in dummy and uh, draw his trumps and uh, and then um, uh, Robert will then just, uh, he can pitch one club on the Queen of Hearts and, he, and he'll make an over trick I think now with uh, the Ace of Clubs on side. Donsky pitched the nine of hearts there. That looks a little bit better. At match points, he'd probably be taking a diamond finesse here because it's pretty unlikely that East would have switched away from um, uh, the queen of diamonds into that dummy. But um, it seems the name of the game is to uh, to make your contract usually. Although I'm sure plenty of guys at this table have won and lost events by one inch. So uh, you need to be a little bit respectful for uh, for over trips, even if you are playing in a uh, teams event. Okay, Dave, uh, can you hear anything uh, right now? Just very faintly, Michael. Now, in some breaking news, I'm told there's some excitement from the closed room where the uh, hands that the players are playing don't match the um, the data file being used for ViewGraph, which uh, 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 is hopefully something the directing staff can get on top of uh, very quickly because it wouldn't make much uh, it wouldn't be any use to anyone if they were playing a different set of boards in the other room. I suspect it's just the operator has got the uh, the wrong hand data file, but of course, actually that can't be the case because they're linked to um, uh, to this table via the BBO software. So uh, sounds like there definitely is an issue over there. Okay, Dave, I'm trying one more time to see if this thing can come out. Well, I can hear you, Michael. I've put your your level at my end up as high as it goes, but it's still a bit faint. But um, if you speak up and speak directly into your microphone, maybe we'll be okay. It's about the same, Michael. We can, we can hear you, so uh, help making a few comments and we'll see how we get on. So on this hand, I don't think North-South can make um, game anywhere and they're, um, that's not surprising that given they have no, no um, fit other than in clubs and don't have game values, but two spades seems to be making okay, probably losing a couple of spades, a heart and a club. I'm not sure what values the one spade um, bid promises in um, in the uh, oh, the, the operator just told us that it's uh, a game forcing bid with five plus spades. So I guess that explains South's seemingly um, timid action of uh, passing initially and just a simple um, 
uh, to spade bid, but he's just conserving space in case um, uh, North wants to move around a little bit more. So North South are indeed in a game forcing auction. Um, now whether or not uh, North North Tan qualifies for a game force opposite a strong club is a bit is a bit debatable. So I might put a question mark over the operator's explanation of the one spade bid, but uh, we'll see how this pans out. As it happens, I think North South will probably do best to defend um, three diamonds. It seems to be going at least one down, losing a diamond, a couple of clubs, and a heart and a spade. Um, uh, and you might even lose two hearts there and get it too often. If you double it, there's uh, 300 on what a minute ago was looking like a fairly boring part score hand. Yeah, I must say now, I, I don't really buy the explanation. Oh, well, maybe I do now that um, Diamond's bid through no trump. The, uh, uh, I do find it surprising that North would treat that hand as a game force, but uh, evidently South has um, taken it as a game force and uh, has bid through no trump. And I don't, don't think this is going to make. I can only really see um, eight tricks for the clearer here in, in five clubs, uh, two, oh, hang on, it makes five. Five clubs, two hearts, a diamond and a spade. Maybe three and a trump is going to make. So uh, this could be another good board for uh, for diamond. Actually, I think if you, if, if on closer analysis, I think three and a trump is probably going to struggle because. Uh, whilst theoretically there are nine tricks available for the clearer, um, the defence will be able to establish um, their long hearts and have an entry to their long hearts um, uh, uh, by virtue of um, uh, the, the fact that West has got the ace of diamonds and, and East has got three hearts in his own hand. Um, the uh, we should uh, the defence should be able to come to their two aces and three heart tricks to defeat this by one trick. So. Um, this uh, this uh, what this won't make, I don't believe. Probably um, the clearer's best bet here would be to try and sneak a spade through to the king um, straight away, and then um, and then count on West holding the ace of diamonds for his. Um, uh, for his three diamond bid. So East will need to be on the ball here to jump up with the ace of spades um, if a spade's pulled off dummy. Um, but he should be alert to that um, uh, that danger of, uh, of you know the need to, to get in and play a heart himself rather than have um, uh, partner's uh, entry to his heart suit burnt if um, uh, if, if West wins this um, uh, this first round of spades. So East right on the ball, and uh, this is now going to definitely fail by um, uh, by a trick, as West is sitting on all his good hearts now, and still has the Ace of Diamonds as his entry, and uh, he will surely fly up with the Ace of Diamonds when a diamond's led towards the King. So I guess uh, what the clear is looking for now is a, a fortunate layout where um, there's an important um, spade card, like the, the Queen of Spades is accompanied by the um, by the diamond um, by the diamond length, which may 
um, force a, a, a discard of either the Queen of Spades, which won't happen, or a discard of the um, um, uh, of a winning heart trick. But no, none of those things are going to happen. And uh, now West Ham is high, and he'll be claiming any moment now. Okay, I'm going to try one more time, see if I can get through. Well, I can hear you, Michael, but uh, again, it's uh, the volume level is very, very low. But it's I, I can I can hear. You, so I'd, I'd press on if I was you. So on the surface, value is pretty evenly spread here um, between the two sides. Um, uh, looks like a part score hand, uh, east west perhaps um, two spades. Uh, their, be their best contract, North-South might compete the three diamonds, but over strong no trump, it looks like it's going to be a bit tricky for North-South to enter into the auction, so um, we'll probably see this settle in, uh, in two spades by East-West. So East West um, uh, in, in this uh, stamen sequence uh, using um, two hearts to, uh, to show both majors and, uh, and East is just preferencing two spades here to uh, buy this contract in two spades. So depending on what lead he gets here, he, uh, he might adopt a general plan here to try to rough a heart in um, uh, in his own hand, um, perhaps. Of course, setting up his King of Clubs first is uh, the way to go here. So he can, um, say, discard a diamond off um, off dummy um, uh, to make sure that the diamond suit will be played for no losers. I'm guessing ace and another heart would be the uh, the play to make here. So as always on these sorts of hands, um, the query is to think about what bad things could be happening. Um, uh, could trumps be breaking poorly? If uh, if trumps break badly and and hearts break badly, he might be exposing himself to. Uh, an unnecessary um, additional um, trump lose, perhaps. So uh, he, I guess, with that play of the ten of spades, he, he was hoping to, to pin the nine um, nine of spades, I, I guess. But um, but now it looks like uh, he won't be able to get that um, that heart rough. But um, I think the the contract still looks pretty safe um, from here. When Declara pulls a heart off the dummy, Platnik um, should be able to, to work out that he needs to play the jack rather than the king, because it wouldn't really make any sense for Declara to have cashed the ace of hearts, holding the ace and the queen himself. So if um, heart comes off the board, north plays the jack, south wins uh, the queen of hearts, draws the last trump and exits a... Um, uh, Exits a, a diamond, um, then um, uh, then there'll be another, or just cashes cashes his, his heart winner. The defence will come to another um, uh, another three tricks, I believe, which will uh, um, still have two spades making.
actually now a diamond works well because um, uh, Declara will be forced to um, uh, play a club, effectively um, tapping his own um, his own trumps in uh, in dummy, and then North's going to wind up with with two tricks in the end. But um, that's still eight tricks for um, uh, Declara for the make, so two spades making. So perhaps an overtrick imp slipping through the cracks there for the alternative line of um, Carmichael playing ace in another heart um, earlier in the play. The results for the first segment of uh, the round of 16 are now available on the US Bridge, Federa uh, US Bridge Federation website. I've just posted the link there for you all. So 15 high card points opposite 12 here. Um, we'll see North South um, get to game, no doubt. Uh, without a um, without a fit anywhere and a shortage in um, partner's spade suit, um, uh, I don't think they'll make any serious uh, move towards slam and just stop in uh, three no trump would be my prediction. So one can count nine tricks pretty easily in three no trumps, so it's just a matter of how many over tricks uh, Diamond's going to make here. He can probably develop an extra trick in, um, in the club suit um, uh, and or the heart suit. I'd just like to commend the US Bridge Federation for um, excellent information availability on their website. They're getting scores up in a timely manner and uh, having player convention cards um, all neatly organised on the website is a real plus for uh, commentators and spectators. So well done to the people at the US Bridge Federation for uh, their continued improvement in the way they present uh, their, uh, their bridge events on BBO and online. So um, an extra heart trick can be established now um, for uh, for Declara. So he's up to at least um, uh, ten tricks now, and uh, might make eleven if he, uh, if he can make that ten of clubs good. Need to be a little bit careful as far as um, communications are concerned here. Uh, You'd like to test diamonds first just to make sure they're breaking and you know, know what's going on, but by doing that you um, will burn your entry to an established um, club trick. So he's going to establish that club trick, um, and not to mention uh, keeping the ace of diamonds as an entry to the king of spades. So he's working on the usual no trump plan of uh, get your tricks set up and then uh, then cash them. And, uh, and I think now with that um, king of uh, clubs ducked, if he pulls a club to hand, uh, and it's ducked again. Um, uh, the, uh, it's now up to declare it to get this club position right. So Diamond's on fire here, getting uh, getting everything right. So uh, he's going to make eleven tricks now. Maybe I spoke too soon. Has he has he gone to bed without cashing the the, um, uh, the jack of hearts? Oh, 
no, he's got he's got the the um, three parts in hand still to as the entry to the Jack of Hearts. In fact, uh, is is Ace going to get squeezed out of his Ace of Clubs here? Might make twelve tricks. Yeah, East has gone here. Um, uh, Diamond's done well. He's got his uh, club threat in his own hand, so he can pitch a spade off dummy when he caches the uh, Eight of Diamonds, and then Carmichael will either have to discard his Ace of Clubs, uh, setting up um, South's Eight, or pitch a heart, in which case dummy's hearts get good. So um, a well-earned um, uh, over trick, um, in fact, a well-earned uh, three over tricks for, uh, for John Diamond. Okay, so East West have quickly bought this contract in um, in two spades. The uh, showing the power of the master suit in these uh, um, uh, part score type type hands. Looks like you're going to lose two spades and a heart and probably a club as well. Um, if Declara, if North hadn't led a club, there's a chance Declara might have been able to establish a. Um, a heart trick in time to discard the uh, club loser, but now I think it's going to be uh, two spades, a heart, and a club to lose. So nine tricks. Seems to be slow going at the other table where only two boards have been um, completed. Perhaps that may have been due to what I reported earlier that um, it seemed to have the wrong set of boards initially put out at their table. So they played um, at least one board, possibly two, uh, which weren't boards that belonged to this set. So um, that, that may lead to a, a delay. In, uh, in the completion of this match, but this is the last segment for uh, today, so it's not going to hold anything up as far as the tournament is concerned. The only hold up will be we won't be getting um, comparisons uh, in a timely manner um, until we get well into the uh, well into the match. I think once we catch up to board 23, um, we should start seeing um, some comparisons from the other room. So a fairly normal one heart over call for East um, at, uh, at this vulnerability. You don't, you don't need to have a um, you know, a, a, a sort of opening hand sort of thing that you would tend to want to be holding if you overcall when you're vulnerable. Uh, at these colours it's very important to get into the auction so that uh, um, you can have a bit of competition. Pa partner can bounce things up a little bit if he's, um, uh, if he's got a fit without having to worry too much about uh, um, going for a big penalty. So the redouble by West here seems to be indicating um, some opening values um, with, um, uh, without a heart fit. I think with a heart fit he'd probably do something like um, uh, a Q raise or some other, um, some other sort of heart raise. So neither side has got a fit in any suit on this hand, so that often indicates that we'll be playing the hand in no trumps. Um, but it looks like it's going to be played in no trumps by the, um, the side with the minority of the, uh, of the values. So 
think perhaps an opening for uh, for East West to go plus here if they can beat one no chance. Not so sure about that Sue Hart bid. Um, the opponents of vulnerable partners made an overcall, which uh, I, I, I'm not really sure about the East West style, but, but you know most expert players would uh, would routinely overcall a little bit on the light side um, uh, at these colours in that position. So um, you know without a known eight card fit in hearts, in fact unlikely to have a fit in hearts, he may have done better just to be defending one no trump. So the clearer won't be unhappy about getting a trump lead into his ace queen ten. Um, means he won't have to burn any entries for dummy to uh, work on hearts himself, and uh, uh, with some luck he might um, uh, pick up a heart trick for him um, in any case. But it should hold his number of um, heart losers to uh, to no more than two. So he's got these ace king of clubs as well, um, but with uh, with both of the um, uh, the king of spades and the king of diamonds on side, and also the prospect of uh, you know setting up a long club in dummy, uh, I think he's probably going to um, uh, come home for nine trips, or well, at least eight anyway. I think to hold it to eight plat you're gonna to need to switch to a um, to a spade after he um, uh, after he draws the uh, you know, catch the jack of hearts and then and then play a spade. But no, the a diamond into the ace jack here, I'm not sure that's gonna do the job because we can now establish the clubs in, in dummy and uh, this is gonna make nine tricks. By oh, ten tricks, I should say, the um, uh, uh, declarer managed to uh, to just lose the one heart trick, so lost a heart and two clubs. So the uh, uh, that might be a might be for the uh, for the Harris team. We'll see in a few minutes. So this hand looks interesting. Um, the fatal vulnerability in South Scott. Um, um, seven spade to the to the ten. Uh, I'll be interested interested to see what his preempting style is on hands where he's got all of his values sitting outside of his um, spade suit. So usually, you like your values to be in your um, uh, in the suit in which you're you're preempting. But at favourable vulnerability, you really want to get in there and do something. So two spades is the choice for diamond um, here. Just a, a normal sort of weak jump over call. That uh, West isn't scared off by that with his um, 
a uh, handful of values. He's just a bit of practical three node trump here. So this uh, contract should make quite easy, even if you um, get the diamond suit wrong, um, uh, you've got spades stopped three times, so you'll, uh, at worst you're going to lose the ace of hearts, the king of clubs and one diamond trick, but I think the, the technically correct play here will be to cash diamonds from the top, um, uh, uh, in fact you'll probably, you'll probably try and set up a, your long clubs first and just make a quick 11 tricks. So ten of spades by South there, I, I, I guess is um, a combination of super preference for hearts as well as um, uh, a discouraging card in the uh, spade suit. And North Julie complies with a, um, a heart switch, but that's not really going to uh, help their side and as soon as diamonds um, get played we'll see a claim. So to clear up probably to set, I'm going to play for diamonds um, to be uh, for diamonds from the top, and the uh, opponents quickly conceded. Okay, so now we've got the first board with a um, with a comparison available to us, and it looks like a ripper. So in the closed room, Hansen and uh, Greco managed to make three diamonds doubled in their uh, in their Moisian. Uh, diamond fit, a 4-3 diamond fit, so uh, it's going to be hard to uh, for the Harris team to, uh, to replicate or beat that result in this room. So the east-west one no trump range is 14 to 16, so um, I can't see any merit really in West um, uh, uh, inviting here, or is that what he's doing, or is this, this might be a sequence to uh, to get the contract to um, uh, to three clubs, but no, he, uh, he looks like he has treated himself as invitational and east-west have got to, um, to three no trump, so if they, if they can make this, that will uh, certainly soften the blow for the uh, the double part score making in the other room. So I guess we've got four spade tricks and a heart trick is five. Um, the uh, if you can get a, get the defence diamonds in your ace queen, that gets you up to seven. Uh, you know, you'll probably be able to, to organise a club trick somehow or other as eight. Um, just not sure where um, where nine tricks are coming from, though, because of course, um, if, if the defence lead hearts, then uh, they can um, uh, they can get their heart suit um, their heart suit going. But look, this is good news for Declara. He got a diamond lead in, into the ace queen, so he's got four spades, two diamonds, and um, 
and a uh, and a heart at least. So look, there's 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 some hope here for him. So let's see how he tackles this hand. Probably uh, the first choice we've got to make is is he going to stick the ten of diamonds in here in dummy or let run this around to his um to his ace queen eight. Yeah, so um, pleasing that he's got um, uh, you know six or seven tricks in the bag now. But if he's going to make this contract, he definitely needs to get some um, uh, get some clubs established in dummy. So he's going after clubs straight away. So the question now is, uh, will the defence have time to uh, to get some hearts established? And uh, I think um, Diamond should be alert to that. And uh, um, uh, and realise that uh, his partner's sitting over there with five hearts uh, in, in all likelihood and, uh, and find that uh, that heart picture. No, no, he's, he's continued with spades. So I think the, um, the Clara can now play another club that North will um, surely switch to a heart when he gets in and he's still going to have a, um, uh, a, a club entry. What might be key here is for South to, uh, to play the ten of clubs on the um, uh, on the eight to uh, to retain a club entry in uh, in the north to to the heart suit. But I guess that the. North having an entry to hearts isn't all that important because they've already got one defensive trick. Um, they've, they've got two clubs to come, uh, and uh, if North ducks a couple of hearts, the contract's going to be over straight away. And indeed, I think um, uh, if North plays a diamond through now, no, 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 he's got to, he definitely has to switch to a heart when North gets in now to uh, to beat this. But that's uh, that's. Uh, um, that's the that's the play for North to find. Actually, even if North switches to a diamond when he gets in, De Clara might still be in trouble because he 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 doesn't have particularly good communications here to um, to be able to establish his clubs and uh, and and enjoy the use of them. Now we can play for spades to be three three here, and uh, um, uh, yeah, play a spade to the ace. Now set up the club, and is this enough? Now has he got his nine? Is, yeah, he's got his no. The, 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 he's home now. He's got his nine tricks because he's set up the clubs. He's still got the spade in entry, and um, uh, spades are three three. Um, you know the best um, the best South can do now is cash the King of Diamonds. So look, this is a um, good result for Harris. They're still going to lose a couple of ints by virtue of the um, the double part score making in the other room, but uh, they've done well to bring this one home. But perhaps a little bit of a slip there for um, uh, for Platnik not um, not playing a heart through. But it's hard to crime him for uh, leading back um, uh, what partner initially uh, led. So. This isn't a, a this isn't an abnormal result by any stretch.
so at this glance here, I thought three node Trump was probably going to be a, um, uh, a makeable contract. Um, it did fail on the other room, but uh, I mean, how many chips have we got here? Looks like you've got five clubs, um, three hearts, and a, a, and a diamond. Um, so they must be, what happened? They, they must have been able to get all the diamonds set up for, um, uh, for East West. I'll try and um, have a look at the play of the, in the other room in the movie. Hey Dave, this is Jack Ellis. How are you? I'm um, well, thanks, uh, Jack. I was I was very lonely. I'm pleased you've been able to join me. Sure. I was watching the last hand, which was an interesting hand, and the defense had several chances to beat it, but they lost their way. So, uh, notwithstanding, I think you're right, the 3-0 would have made, so now we'll just see how many tricks down the Carmichael goes and three diamonds doubled. You know, there are a lot of people who played methods that three diamonds is the lowest you can go and still be natural. One diamond is two suits of some sort, and two diamonds is multi, so there are there are quite a number of pairs who play. If you want to bid diamonds naturally, you got to bid them as high as Brad did. So, so he's got a bunch of losers. Um, looks like he can pick up the diamond suit for one loser. So it's a diamond and a spade is two and a club is three and three hard tricks is six. So it looks like he's going at least uh, 300 down here. It's interesting, uh, as uh, North South write down plus 300 or plus 500 on their score sheet, they'll be uh, busy analysing the hand, thinking, hmm, well, our teammates have probably defended Bruno Trump in the other room, and uh, and it looks like it's cold, so they'll get a pleasant surprise to score up with their teammates uh, coming back with plus 50. So my guess is for lack of anything better to do, <clears throat> Diamond is probably just going to play a spade through here. I'm just wondering if this is headed towards South um, getting M played in trumps a little bit later in the hand. He's sort of uh, he's going to run out of um, convenient exits, perhaps. Might just be one of those ping pong things between South and East in uh, um, trumps and side suits. Not sure. Diamond may feel a bit short here, only uh, coming to one diamond trick from his King 10 fourth with a, a diamond over call on his right. But that's the way it's going to be for uh, for two off um, three hundred and I think that's uh, that'll be nine imps eight or nine imps for um, uh, for the diamond team.
to extend their lead. I think he might have done better. I know, I guess it's all the same. I was thinking he could have jumped with the King of Diamonds and tapped him with a club. He might be able to recover. Now a diamond to the jack, cashes a spade. Maybe he'll get a, he might be able to get a ten of diamonds in if he rises on the king, rises with the king of diamonds. And it's, it, 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 often it's uh, quite a big difference um, between 300 and 500 on these sorts of hands because if you think you're scoring up against um, uh, 400, you know, 300 front mason in the other room, it's sort of the difference between plus three or minus three. So uh, my arithmetic says that's a six inch um, difference for uh, for that extra um, double uh, under trick in a non vulnerable um, uh, in a non vulnerable double um, contract. Against uh, 50 in the other room, the difference is only three inches for the uh, for the extra under trick. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Diamond does. They're playing precision, and when it goes one heart pass, this is the type of hand that you know you can probably get away with just bidding four hearts. Many types of hands, you know, you're facing a limited opening bid, and you put a lot of pressure on the opponents if you bid four hearts on a wide variety of hands. Um, Depends on whether he wants to cater to what's probably an unlikely slam facing a, a, a minimal opening bid. So it's possible he would make a bid here that you would not make if you were just playing standard. Yeah, I think because uh, he's so balanced, uh, he's got the you know the, the the queen x of diamonds and the small doubleton club. Slam probably seems a little bit far fetched. He's starting to sort of dream up. Um, you know, miracle hands from partner for slam to be making. So I'm, I'm, I quite like four hearts. And on a good day, your opponent's feeling the pressure. May well balance in four seeds that uh, um, you can pick up a nice, uh, a nice penalty uh, 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 if that happens. Yes, that, that that is a good day when you stampede the opponents into four spades and you have this hand. And I suspect that. That's what Diamond is mulling over. Just how unlikely is it that there is a slam? And he's determined it's pretty unlikely. So he just bids the four hearts that we suggested might be coming. So unless I miss my guess, there's not much to this hand. He's going to lose the two red aces and will be on to board 26 in just a second. Now, it's a small point, uh, but it's interesting. He didn't just play hearts out of the dummy. I think he wanted to give Carmichael a chance to play a low heart if he had ace and a heart in case by some chance he had let a spade from three or four small and uh, his partner was in a position to get a rough. He might not know it. So crossing to the ace of clubs to play a heart up would give East uh, another chance to just duck a heart, where if we just blast the heart out of the dummy, they may fall into a spade rough that they didn't even know was coming. But here he's just going to give up a diamond, and I think that will be the end of it. Yeah, good analysis there, Jack. I was initially thinking he might have been going for some style marks to uh, eliminate clubs uh, sort of in the process of drawing trumps uh, to force a, a missed defence to avoid a, a diamond loser in extreme circumstances. But uh, I think uh, protecting uh, against that uh, potential spade rough by... Um, uh, having the right positioning for the first round of trumps is uh, is what was, uh, was was really on Platnik's mind. So uh, yeah, nice play, and nice analysis. Yeah, we're both guessing, but we're, we're both guessing, but you know, you know where my money is. No, I got drafted here at the last second to um, 
to do view graphs, so I don't know uh, the north-south no trump range. I didn't get a chance to download the card. Is it 14 to 16 or is it 15 to 17? Do we know? We'll find out in a second. We'll see what he opens. Okay, so it looks like it's 14 to yeah, 16. Yeah, I've, so I've got the system card in front of me. Now, it varies by position. Um, they play it uh, 14 to 16. Uh, first and okay. second seat and third non-vulnerable, and they play at 15 to 17 in third and fourth seat. Well, Granger comes in with a one spade overcall, far more than he needs to have these days to overcall a strong club. And now Diamond just shows his hand, a balanced hand, too strong to open a no trump, and I suspect that will end the auction. So there seems to be six tricks for the declarer here. He's got his four clubs, the king of hearts, and a, and a spade trick. Um, but the, the clubs actually um, uh, produce two entries to dummy for him, so he might be able to, in fact, he will be able to establish a, uh, a long diamond trick for his, uh, his seventh, I believe. Well, wait a minute. I think he's going to go down in a jiffy. I mean, the uh, defense is in a position to take four spade tricks, Three diamonds is seven, and a heart is eight tricks. So to my way of thinking, he is on his way to 200 down. I mean, I, I suppose they could lose their way, but uh, I, I don't. I, I think that he's going to come up short. Yeah, I was too busy counting winners rather than losers there, I think. Uh, uh, the defence can certainly get on top of this if, uh, if they find all their tricks and get themselves in the right hand at the right time. But if Declarer does go after Diamonds first here and West wins it rather than East, then um, uh, that might present an extra spade trick for Declarer, which gets them up to, uh, to six. But yeah, look, I'll, I'll, let me change my mind on that one. This is um, quite unlikely to make. I think I think he's probably just going to cash his four club tricks. I mean, I mean, you could go down a lot if you play diamonds and the ace of hearts is outside. You could go down a lot. So it's possible that uh, I think diamonds going to run the four clubs and maybe have the opponents come under some discarding pressure. Maybe he can figure out what to do depending on what the discards are, et cetera, et cetera. But I I, I think he's going to just mark time with the club suit. That's my guess. And already on this club trick, uh, West doesn't have the easiest discard in the world. Now, at a high level, I don't know whether they were playing Smith Echo and whether Carmichael's carding showed whether he liked spades or did not like spades. Okay, well, there went one trick <laughs> with the spade pitch. As I say, it's very hard for the opponents to know what to, to pitch early on. Now, now here comes the diamond play, belatedly, yes. Yeah. yeah, so one way, one way or another, diamond's going to scrounge at least one extra trick here because um, West is going to be forced to lead a, um, uh, a major uh, um, card in, either towards the, uh, the King of Hearts or the Queen of Spades.
So it looks like Declare still has the King of Hearts to come, and it's going to finish minus 100. It really would have been uh, very good defense, uh, and very hard to find to beat a 200. So if I understand this is a, oh no, it's not a natural one club, it's strong and artificial. Well, you know what, uh, there are no methods that I know that cater to three suited hands, really, over uh, a strong artificial club, let alone good ones. Uh, so we'll see, uh, okay, well, I don't know what double means, I guess we'll find out what double means, as I say, I don't have the card in front of me. It could mean uh, majors or minors, Platinum could be just deciding, hey, I'm treating this as a major two suitor, okay, there it is, majors. It's possibly an illegal convention in the United States, um, but in Australia, uh, quite a few pairs play uh, wonder bids against a, um, a strong uh, one club opening where you bid, a, you bid a suit which is either a natural overcall either in, in that or, um, or perhaps the suit above or a three suited hand with shortage in that suit. So it's one of those sort of either or type um, bids which uh, it has got good interference value against strong club auctions, but uh, also enables you to get these sort of three suited hands off your chest um, when they come up. So how would that work here? Good overcall with what? Showing what? I think you would overcall. I guess it'd be one spade showing clubs or a or a three suitor, something like that. Like you bid the suit below the, the potential natural overcall. So like one diamond shows hearts or shortage in hearts, one heart shows um, spades or shortage in spades, etc. Okay. But that would be illegal well, in the I United States, I assume. I, I, th I think you're right, I think it is. So unless North South have no standards at all, I don't see diamond bidding two hearts, even though he does have four of them. Now he may either double for takeout or maybe just did two diamonds and continue to bid, bid out his hand. I don't probably undiscussed the difference between the two. Okay, two diamonds is certainly straightforward. He has a, re he has a reasonable hand or he would just pass, and he's now described his hand pretty well. And he's got a good hand. I mean, I think North South um, must come very, very close to making four hearts. What are they going to lose? A spade um, and, a, and a couple of diamonds? I, I guess a trump lead might put it under a bit of pressure. You may, may come up short in terms of, um, uh, in terms of tricks, but uh, these double fit type hands certainly play very well. Well, the king queen tied of diamonds is certainly nice. Now, I wouldn't surprise me if Platinum did three clubs here, just continuing to <laughs> bid out his hand and show, you know, a, you know, a club void and a strong interest in proceeding further, although I think it would take a gun to make Diamond bid. Maybe not. Maybe he would fall in love with a fourth trump and the jack third of spades. Well, three small clubs is a pretty good club holding opposite a, uh, a potential void, and... Uh, you know, the, the those jack third spade and jack third diamond, you'd hope one of those is going to fit well with um, partner's side suit. So it's not beyond the realms of possibilities that um, that uh, South will get the message that uh, North's got the drand. Now, a freely bid three hearts by South might um, be enough for North to um, to go to game. We'll see. Of course, while we're busily analysing North's prospects in uh, four hearts, um, East West could. Uh, quite easily settle in uh, Trina Trump here, which has got you six club tricks, you know, a diamond, a spade and a heart. So there's your, well, maybe not a heart, but um, six, seven, eight, no. I think Trina Trump is probably going to only make uh, 
and you make the eight tricks. But if you get a heart lead, there's uh, there's your ninth trick for three hundred trumps uh, declared by West. You know, it's, it's easier to uh, bid looking at all the cards, but I, I just I, I think there is a case for South bidding three hearts here. This is along the lines that you were suggesting earlier, Dave. But I mean, his partner has shown a good hand, shown all three suits. Um, and you do have a fourth trump, which you don't necessarily have to have. The jack third of spades is really good. So I, I think you actually might be able to make four hearts if you double dummy, but I, I, I just don't think they should be selling to three clubs. It just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right, but we'll see. They did. And it looks like uh, three clubs will make easily. I think you're just going to lose um, a uh, spade and the two red aces, I think. Just sort of, you know, this won't take very long at all. Right. And they did well to steer clear of 3-0, which would go down. They've, they're have taking a plus on the, on the board, which is a very good result for East-West. So once Declarer saw that uh, Trumps were breaking, he reverted to um, uh, positioning himself to rough uh, a couple of diamonds in his own hand, and uh, he's still safe for 10 tricks now. Probably claiming now that those diamonds and dummy are established. Well, this is going to be an interesting bidding problem for uh, North South, uh, particularly now that uh, Granger has opened with this kind of an offbeat two heart bid, uh, which poses just an impossible problem for Platinick. It's the kind of hand you see in you know, master solvers clubs and, well, the Bridge World magazine here in the United States and maybe British Bridge World and Britain and and Australian Bridge, I guess, and Australia. Uh, I, I have no idea what I would bid over two hearts. You get lots of vote, votes. You get votes for double. You get votes for three clubs, I suppose. You get votes for three no. Uh, it's tough to know what to bid. It's an impossible problem. 19 highs. Is that right? 19, 4, 7, 8, 16, 18, 19 highs. Stiff jack of spades. Um, what would you bid, Dave? I mean, <laughs> with two hearts to you. Look, I, I, I'm a three-note trump bidder myself on these sorts of hands. You know, it could end in tears, but uh, I don't want, to, don't want to be missing a vulnerable game. A, a, a comment I'd like to make, though, is I really, really like this two-heart opening by uh, by Granger. Um, I think it's essential that these sorts of colours to, uh, you know, to be involved. First seat, green against red, is the optimal time to make this sort of bid. People who say don't open a week two of the side four card major, don't listen to them. You just want to you want to preempt whenever you can. If you've only got five, you know, bad luck. You've, at least you've got the king jack nine um, hitting the suit. I think it's a brilliant opening. At these colours, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't dream of opening it, um, you know, equal or, or vulnerable. But first seat green versus red. Um, I think it's a perfect two hard opening if. if uh, if, uh, if that's a week two in your system. So Platinum went low, really low with three clubs. I mean, you take a deep breath and you bid three clubs and you just hope the auction uh, <laughs> doesn't end right then and there because it certainly could. But uh, he got himself to a good spot. Yeah, it's done well because three no Trump I think was going to uh, go down on the uh, on the heart lead. So because uh, you've only got eight eight tricks, is it? You got five. Um, in fact, you don't even have eight, five. So you've only got seven tricks on on top. So yeah, he, was def he definitely wasn't going to be making three no Trump. That's bad to be going down on three no when you can make six clubs. We've all been there though. Well, we'll see if they get there at the other table. It would be a job well done if they did.
Well, I think uh, if you left your own devices, uh, if East West aren't sort of you know consuming the space they did in this room, then uh, you know North South could have a nice constructive option to work out uh, 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 what's going on. Because it's, a, it's, a I, I, it's definitely a very good contract. I, I agree, and which is another reason why the two heart bid was so uh, effective on this hand. Now here's a real two heart bid. Maybe a, a hand that's too good for two hearts by most people's standards, quite frankly. And back in the old days, this wasn't too good, but these days it probably uh, is a bit too good. You know, for a long time I thought there was no such thing as a hand that was uh, too good for two hearts, but not good enough for one heart. Um, but I've changed my mind. This is the kind of hand that I think is too good for two hearts, but not good enough for one heart. But, you know, I don't feel strongly about it. I think if in doubt, um, I think a tip for sort of intermediate players is, is if you're choosing between a conservative action or, or an overbid, the uh, the winning action tends to be the overbid. So if you if you bought a line, just upgrade yourself and um, and treat yourself as a uh, one heart opener. Now this is a one no overcall that you do not see in very many textbooks. Let's just let's just put it that way. I mean, I do understand the point, um, and it's a reasonable it's a reasonable shot. Of course, that poses another impossible problem. Now, some people play here that uh, two clubs is a one suitor and two spades a spades and a minor. But I think most people just play that everything is natural here. In which case, you've got to be a pretty good guesser. Just guess which suit uh, you want to compete in. Of course, you could double, um, and that will stir the pot. Uh, who knows what you'd lead? It's unlikely they'll stay there. Um, one of the problems with doubling. Suppose that it goes, you know, two diamonds or something, two clubs pass, pass back to you and you bid two spades. Is that forcing? Do you want it to be forcing? Uh, those are all interesting problems. So redouble here must be something conventional, obviously. It must be um, telling his partner to, to run. And I don't think his partner needs to be told to run, by the way, with the hand he has. So I think most uh, expert pairs. Um, well, maybe this is a big statement, but my expectation would be you would you would play the, the same defence you play against a strong no trump opening against a uh, a strong no trump overcall. Well, that can't be quite right because you certainly want to be able to raise the two hearts naturally, right? Yeah. But anyway, you do on that this particular diamonds transfer to hearts. Oh, I see. Never, I've never seen that one. Live and learn. So I don't know what to think about rebidding two hearts here. I, I, certainly you want to rebid right away if you have a weak hand, uh, but rebidding two hearts and with a suit that's this questionable in the face of uh, hearts that are known to be banked behind me doesn't make me thrilled. But on the other hand, Platinum has no interest in sitting around and defending anything. Uh, so that's why he is running the two hearts to send this message to his partner right now. Having sent the message, I don't know what Diamond can do except throw his hand down and pass. I mean, I, I don't, I, I just cannot see exploring. Well, I guess, okay, fine, I guess he does. <laughs> he did he two spades and he bought a better spade suit than I would if I, if I tried. I mean, his uh, partner could have, could have had King Jack nine seventh of hearts and a spade stiff. Uh, that's what he would have had if I did two spades. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit perplexed by Platnik's two heart bid as well. I would have thought if redoubles is a puppet to two um, uh, to two clubs, um, if, you know, you, you're going to have a chance to rebid your hearts, um, you know, when when either two clubs or two diamonds comes back to you. But maybe they have an agreement that uh, doing it this way is, uh, you know, shows you know this exact sort of hand. This is the, this is the weaker way, and the more constructive hand would um, sit back around and then come back in. It's all about partnership agreements. Well, he has a hand that's too good to pass two spades. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think it was just did three spades. Man, I don't think of it four, but I, I can't conceive of passing. First of all, it's not clear to me that this 
that is not 100% forcing, all right? And if it's even possibly forcing, I'm raising with the north end. Well, what do I know? But I would not mind being in four spades north-south, I'll tell you. Yeah, it's a bit surprising. Maybe Platnik just felt he'd already bid enough already. He'd opened, you know, a little bit light perhaps, and uh, then he stuck his neck out again with his two-heart bid. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's surprising. Three-card support for partners, vulnerable, freely bid, spade suit, a singleton. Um, you know, maybe he's a bit, you know, the Queen Third Club isn't such a great holding, but... Uh, um, and maybe his kids, you know, because hearts haven't been raised, it looks like his king sixth heart is probably opposite a shortage, so that may not be so useful either. So he's probably counting up a, a fair few things in the minus column about his hand and not enough in the plus column and uh, decided just to sit on the part score. In the meantime, it looks like things lay pretty well for his decision with diamonds banked 6-1. Um, looks like it might have been good to go low like he did. Yes, yeah, so it kind of looks like um, the defense get this ace of clubs, a couple of spade tricks, they'll get their natural king of spades, but probably an over up in diamonds as well. Um, but uh, South won't be able to dispatch all of the diamonds out of his own hand and, and I think is going to wind up with um, uh, with a diamond loser or two um, to give to, uh, to West towards the end of the hand. Yeah, so now East can cash the King of Spades and, um, uh, and then cash the Ace of Hearts. Now, if South roughs that, then he's going to have to give a couple of diamonds to West in, in the end game. Um, now that, that's obviously a little, all a little bit double dummy because I guess what if he goes King of Spades and catches Ace of Hearts and declare chooses to duck. Um, yeah, he would have done better if he hadn't touched right. Trump. If, if he just starts roughing diamonds right away, I think he does better. I hear he's. I think he might even make four. Uh, the King of Spades gets cashed here and. Uh, he doesn't have an entry to the dumb. Yeah, no, he never even. Oh, okay, yes, he. Does. Okay, now I am lost. All right, so he's still going to make three though. Yeah, there's going to be a diamond loser in the end for uh, for declare one way or another. Oh no 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 now he can rough the. Um, uh, he can he can rough the diamond with the jack. It gets over roughed, and that's ten tricks. So uh, Carmichael yep. needed to uh, cash the ace, go king of spades, ace of hearts there to hold it to three. So there you go with all that wastage. Still, four spades would not have been the worst game I was ever in. I can tell you that. So we're up to the last board of the uh, segment now and the last board for um, today's broadcast from uh, BBO. So a few quick thank yous. Thanks very much to the US British uh, Federation for, um, uh, for putting this event on and they've obviously committed a lot of resources um, uh, for the extent of uh, BBO coverage we've got. I think six tables um, will be on offer for much of the next uh, eight or nine days. Um, Thanks very much to Jack for uh, stepping in um, after we had some technical difficulties with um, uh, with Michael's microphone earlier to uh, join me in the commentary. Thanks to our operator who's had a card perfect set as far as I can see. And thanks to all the spectators for watching. So Dave, let's return to the topic of week two bids. Now at Equal Whites, I take it that this is beyond uh, your limits. Is that fair? Uh, look, it's a, it's not an automatic too hard opening for me, but um, I've got that I've got sympathy for it. One thing I like about it is all of your points are in your suit, so um, that's a that's a big plus for me. So I I don't really mind um, two hearts in the first seat. Probably the second seat I wouldn't open that two hearts at uh, at Mill Bowl.
maybe Carmichael's thinking, well, it worked so well last time uh, with a five-card week, too. I better have a go at it myself. Well, everything sits wonderfully for East-West. Do you think they can reach four spades? Um, would, you, would you raise to four spades now, having opened two hearts? Yep. Oh, most definitely. I've got three card three card support for partners uh, suit that he's freely introduced at the uh, you know at the, the three level and uh, I've got an, it's got an, three controls. So yeah, no, I'll, I'll bid four spades. I think four spades is the right call here. I agree. So this is a great result to reach four spades with. Let's see, four, six, nine, ten, ten opposite seven, and no singletons in either hand. But with everything lying well, the king of spades flips up singleton. The ace of clubs is on side. Takes seven spades. A club is eight. Two hearts is ten. Unless I'm missing something. It looks like they're going to make this. Well, it I guess looks like Clara has got a decision to make about how to play the heart suit here. He may... Um, decide to take a heart finesse rather than um, uh, than you know cashing ace king, given that he doesn't have a um, uh, you know a, a, another entry to um, uh, to dummy. Although, oh, hang on, he can, he, I guess he can get there with a um, uh, with a, a two of spades to the six or something like that. I think four spades will make. That, that's assuming that Diamond doesn't just play clubs himself right now right, to make the hand simple. It looks like we're like four like boards ahead or five boards ahead of the other room. Well, I'm, I think Jack, they actually started in the other room with the wrong board, so they played at least one board, possibly two that were from a different set. And uh, and uh, once they realised that, with the, with, the, with the operator waving his hand around, the um, they got the right boards to them eventually. So, bit of a bit of a muck uh -huh, up over okay. there. But just Thank just you. back to the play here. So so. Declarer might do something like play jack of hearts to the ace and then uh, pull spade towards his hand, draw trumps, and now, you know, the taking hearts in S isn't, isn't as silly as it sounds. I, I agree with that. But, you know, I suspect you might have been doubled in four spades uh, if the guy at your left, facing an overhaul, had two aces. He's already shown the ace of diamonds because he's led it. I don't think he'd also have the ace of clubs and remain silent over four spades, so I would be pretty confident the ace of clubs is on my right if I was west. And I think the other thing, of course, is, as I said before, we've got a, we, we actually have an entry in trumps. You can play the two of spades to the six, so um, you know, roughing the queen of hearts down gives you that little extra, extra chance um, above and, and beyond. Uh, just simply playing for the Queen of Hearts on side, and you can al always fall back on the Ace of Clubs on side. So, in terms Absolutely. of combining your chances, it seems uh, taking a heart finesse isn't the right thing to do. I but agree. It's all like Assuming, as I said earlier, stuff. that they don't end it for you, which they do. Well, thank you, Dave. Thanks to all the specs. Thanks, everybody. And uh, there'll be more bridge tomorrow. And if you want to see the rest of this match, you can go over to the. Um, to the other room and watch the last uh, four boards. So thanks, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.